So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Pixie Manfrotto mini tripod. The original one. So originally I bought the Pixie Evo 2, which is this tripod right here. And it's intended for bigger DSLRs and it was one of the main reasons that I didn't decide to get this one. But besides me picking up my new vlog camera, I decided to pick up the Pixie Manfrotto mini tripod, the mini tripod, the Pixie tripod, whatever you want to call it. And overall, believe it or not, even though this is at a much lower price point compared to this, I think this is actually the better tripod and I'll tell you exactly why in this video. So straight out of the box, the Pixie mini tripod essentially is very basic. It acts as one, a kickstand, a normal tripod, as well as its 3.5 millimeter screw for any tripod or DSLR camera, as well as a push function here. And essentially you just push the button here and the top swivels. And you release the button and the tripod stays in its place. And it's pretty sturdy and you need to apply some kind of force to have this move. Unlike the Pixie Evo 2 or its big brother, the Pixie mini tripod cannot extend and go lower and that is essentially as far as it can go. But one of the things I really like about this tripod and the reason I picked it up was because it was for my vlogging tripod. As you can see here, the Evo 2 is much more bulkier and clunky and it can hold much more weight and this mini tripod itself contrary to popular belief and how I bought this, the salesperson said this tripod is not meant for DSLRs with kit lenses, but I put this on my Nikon that you're watching right now and it, it held up perfectly fine. And one of the reasons I think this mini tripod is actually like surprisingly better is number one is its build quality. Once you hold it in your hand, it just feels very ergonomic. In other words, it just feels right in the hand. The overall matte finish on this plastic feels very sturdy and nothing's really clickety clackety and it, it's a pretty much plug and play. You put your, you twist your camera on top, make sure your camera is leveled and you just set it and you go. Whether or not you want to put that on the table and you want to vlog with it, or you want to clamp all the legs together, hold like that and hold it like a vlog camera. That's essentially how basic this tripod is and I love how simplistic it is. I would say the overall cons of this mini pixie tripod is that you see this rubber here? The only bad thing about it is that it doesn't twist. Unlike the Manfrotto here, where you essentially just twist on your camera screw and then you have your camera and then you twist it on, the Pixie Evo, you actually have to screw the camera on top. So this doesn't spin. That is only, so you have to either spin the mini tripod or you spin the camera. That would say my biggest downside. So initially when I bought the Manfrotto Pixie Evo line, I originally thought that this itself was going to be much more higher quality, but my overall complaints of this tripod is that it seemed not to feel right in your hand, it doesn't feel like a solid tripod. That was my only gripe with it. But the Manfrotto Pixie mini tripod, the original one, is as basic as it can get. It's used as a kickstand, used as a tripod, as well as a vlogging selfie stick and it just feels right and you really won't be able to explain it in words but once you hold it in your hands you just feel how durable it is and how overall it's very sturdy and although it holds less weight i feel like this is the best bang for your buck retailing around 20 to 30 dollars american and i would much recommend this tripod if you had to get it over the Pixie Evo 2, unless your camera is a much bigger system. But for research purposes, I'm gonna put this setup that I have right now onto this and see how it can actually stand its weight. And as you can see right now, my Nikon setup, Nikon D5200, with my Rode Link mic on top, as well as my uh, 
17 to 50 Sigma lens. This tripod, this mini tripod is holding it up pretty sturdy. Like I'm like pushing it pretty hard and it's not like it's not budging. And the salesperson who told me like this tripod is not for heavier lenses and DS, like this is pretty hefty. This is pretty hefty for like, I would say around five pounds, four to five pounds setup. And this mini Pixie tripod is holding up completely fine, but maybe, you know, somewhere down the road, it might just collapse. But so far, I think it can actually hold the weight. And like one of the cool things about this is you can just pick it up and use that as a vlogging setup. Because when you hold the camera with your hands, you can get something like camera jitters or micro shakes. But if you hold it like this with one hand and it's completely stabilized by the tripod, then you really don't need to worry about micro jitters as long as you have vibration reduction on. And it's a pretty solid vlogging setup that you have right here. And my name is Peter, and that was my overall review of the Pixie Manfrotto mini tripod, which I'm currently using right now to hold up this camera, which is why I can go like this. My name is Peter. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something.